The Enchanted Forest Once upon a time, in a quaint village surrounded by dense woods, there lived a young girl named Lily. She was known for her insatiable curiosity and love for nature. But beyond the village lay a mysterious and enchanted forest, and everyone warned Lily to never venture there. One day, unable to resist her adventurous spirit any longer, Lily decided to explore the forest. She packed a small bag with some fruits, water, and a sketchbook. As she crossed the threshold, the air around her seemed to change. The trees stood taller and closer together, and the sunlight filtered through the leaves, creating a magical dance of shadows. Unbeknownst to Lily, the forest was home to mystical creatures, like fairies, talking animals, and ancient spirits. As she strolled deeper into the woods, a playful fairy named Tinker appeared before her. You're not supposed to be here, Tinker chimed, her wings sparkling with iridescent colors. But since you're here, I'll be your guide. Lily's heart raced with excitement as Tinker led her through secret clearings and babbling brooks. They encountered a wise old owl who shared stories of forgotten times and a gentle deer who allowed Lily to pet its velvety fur. As they continued their journey, the forest grew darker, and whispers echoed in the trees. Tinker warned Lily to stay close, for the woods had a mischievous spirit called Puck. Puck loved playing pranks on unwary travelers. Ignoring the warning, Lily wandered away for a moment to admire a rare blue flower. In that moment of distraction, Puck seized the opportunity and caused vines to tangle around her feet, trapping her. Tinker quickly flew to the rescue, rescue, and with her magical powers, she freed Lily from the vines. Remember, curiosity is good, but you must also be cautious, Tinker advised gently. Grateful for Tinker's help, Lily nodded and continued her adventure. Along the way, she encountered a magical waterfall that seemed to glow with an ethereal light. Its waters were said to grant wishes to those with pure hearts. Lily closed her eyes, whispered her dearest wish, and threw a small pebble into the sparkling waters. The forest seemed to hold its breath for a moment before a soft, warm breeze enveloped her, filling her heart with joy. With the evening sun casting long shadows, Lily bid farewell to Tinker and the Enchanted Forest. As she stepped back into her village, she realized that something had changed within her. The forest had left its mark, instilling a sense of wonder and respect for the unknown. From that day on, Lily cherished her adventures in the Enchanted Forest, but she also understood the importance of balance and heeding warnings. She continued to explore, learn, and grow, carrying the magic of the forest in her heart forever. And whenever she looked at the night sky, she knew that somewhere, Tinker and the Enchanted Forest were watching over her, filling her dreams with enchantment and possibility. The Lost City of Alicia In the heart of a vast and ancient jungle, hidden beneath a dense canopy of emerald leaves, lay the fabled Lost City of Alicia. Legends whispered of its existence, speaking of a majestic city that radiated a golden glow, with untold riches and ancient secrets waiting to be discovered. Many brave adventurers had sought the city, but none had returned to tell the tale. Enter Alex, a young and adventurous archaeologist, determined to unravel the mysteries of the lost city. With a well-worn map in hand, passed down through generations of explorers, Alex embarked on an expedition to find Alicia. Accompanied by a small team of fellow enthusiasts, the journey took them deep into uncharted territory. The trek through the jungle was arduous, fraught with peril from wild beasts and unforgiving terrain. Yet, they pressed on, driven by the allure of discovering a city lost to time. Along the way, they encountered indigenous tribes who guarded the secrets of the jungle jealously. Alex and the team treated them with respect, learning about their culture and sharing their own knowledge in return. One night, as they gathered around a campfire, an elderly tribesman spoke of a guardian spirit that protected the city. The spirit was said to test the purity of heart of those who sought to enter Alicia. Only those who were worthy would be granted passage, while others would face dire consequences. Alex was intrigued and vowed to prove their worthiness. Finally, after weeks of treacherous travel, they stood at the edge of a vast clearing. 
Before them rose the imposing gates of Alicia, engraved with intricate symbols and adorned with shimmering gems. Alex's heart pounded with excitement and trepidation. The team exchanged nervous glances, knowing that the guardian spirit awaited. Summoning their courage, they approached the gates. A resounding echo filled the air as the gates creaked open, revealing the long-lost city in all its splendor. Alicia was a sight to behold, with majestic temples, grand palaces, and sparkling fountains that seemed to defy time itself. As they stepped inside, a soft glow enveloped them, and a celestial voice echoed in their minds, posing riddles and moral dilemmas. Alex and the team faced the tests with integrity and humility, proving their worthiness as the guardian spirit watched over them. In the heart of Alicia, they discovered a grand library filled with ancient scrolls and tomes, preserving knowledge from eras long gone. They learned of the city's prosperous history, its devotion to wisdom, and its commitment to harmony with nature. As days turned into weeks, Alex and the team immersed themselves in the wisdom of Alicia, vowing to protect the city's secrets and respect its guardians. The lost city had changed them, instilling a deep appreciation for the interconnectedness of all things and the beauty of ancient wisdom. Eventually, it was time to bid farewell to Alicia, knowing that its location must remain a secret to protect it from those who might exploit its treasures. The team returned to their homes, forever carrying the wonder of the lost city in their hearts. From that day on, Alex became a renowned scholar, sharing the wisdom of Alicia with the world. They emphasized the importance of preserving the balance between progress and reverence for nature. And in the depths of the jungle, the lost city of Alicia remained hidden, guarded by the guardian spirit, awaiting the next worthy soul to seek its mysteries and embrace its timeless wisdom. The Starlight Alchemist In the mystical land of Eldoria, where ancient forests whispered secrets and rivers flowed with liquid silver, there lived a young alchemist named Arya. She was a gifted soul, with eyes that sparkled like stars, and a heart that yearned to unravel the mysteries of the universe. Arya's fascination with the cosmos led her to study the art of alchemy, hoping to uncover the secrets of the stars and harness their power. Under the tutelage of Master Galen, a wise and eccentric alchemist, she delved deep into the ancient tomes, mastering the art of transmutation. One night, as Arya gazed at the night sky, a shooting star streaked across the heavens, leaving a tra trail of shimmering stardust in its wake. The sight filled her with an unyielding desire to create something extraordinary using the essence of the stars. Driven by this vision, Arya set forth on a quest to find the legendary starlight orchid, a rare flower said to bloom only once in a century when the stars aligned. The flower's nectar was rumored to hold the very essence of the stars, capable of granting unimaginable power to those who could extract it. Her journey took her through treacherous mountains, enchanted forests, and ethereal valleys. Along the way, she encountered mystical creatures, some benevolent and others mischievous, each testing her resolve and guiding her on her path. After months of relentless pursuit, Arya finally discovered the elusive starlight orchid. The flower's petals shimmered like a celestial dance, and its fragrance carried the whispers of ancient galaxies. With great care, she extracted a single drop of nectar from the blossom. Upon her return to the alchemist's workshop, Arya set to work on her greatest creation yet. She combined the stardust she had collected with the starlight orchid's nectar and added a few drops of moonlight for good measure. The concoction glowed with an otherworldly luminescence, filling the room with a soft, celestial light. As she carefully poured the mixture into a vial, the workshop seemed to hum with energy. Arya knew that she had created something extraordinary, a potion that could hold the power of the stars themselves. Eager to test her creation, she swallowed a tiny drop of the elixir. In an instant, she felt a surge of energy coursing through her veins. Her senses sharpened, and she saw the world with newfound clarity. She could feel the pulse of the universe, and the secrets of the cosmos unfolded before her. With this newfound power, Arya devoted herself to using alchemy for the greater good of Eldoria. She healed the sick, enriched, enriched the soil for bountiful harvests, and brought light to the darkest corners of the land. 
people began to call her the Starlight Alchemist, a name that echoed through the ages. As time passed, Arya's legend grew, and she became a beacon of hope and inspiration for aspiring alchemists across Eldoria. But despite her extraordinary abilities, Arya remained humble and kind, always willing to share her knowledge and wisdom with others. And so, the Starlight Alchemist continued her journey, exploring the wonders of the universe, and spreading the light of the stars to all who sought her guidance. For in the heart of Eldoria, the light of the stars forever shone brightly, illuminating the path of those who dared to dream and seek the magic that lay within their souls. The Time Traveler's Locket In the bustling city of Arcadia, where the clatter of carriages and the chime of clocks filled the air, there lived a young woman named Amelia. She was an artist with a vivid imagination, fascinated by history and the mysteries of time. Amelia's small apartment was adorned with her artwork, depicting scenes from various eras she had only read about in books. But deep within her heart, she yearned to experience those moments firsthand. One evening, while exploring a curious antique shop tucked away in a narrow alley, Amelia discovered a dusty, ornate locket. Its intricate design caught her eye, and as she opened it, she noticed an ethereal glimmer emanating from within. The shopkeeper, an old man with kind eyes, explained that the locket was rumored to possess the power of time travel. Be warned, my dear, the old man cautioned. Time is a delicate tapestry, and tampering with it can have unforeseen consequences. With a mixture of excitement and trepidation, Amelia purchased the locket and hurried home. That night, as the clock, the clock struck midnight, she clasped the locket around her neck and turned the tiny gears engraved on its surface. To her amazement, the world around her began to shimmer and blur. When the haze cleared, Amelia found herself in a cobblestone alley, surrounded by gas lamps and horse-drawn carriages. She had traveled back in time to the 19th century, to a time she had always dreamed of visiting. Over the next few weeks, Amelia embarked on numerous adventures, exploring the past like an intrepid explorer. She sketched the majestic architecture of historic buildings, danced at grand masquerade balls, and befriended renowned artists and inventors. However, with each journey, Amelia felt the weight of time pressing upon her. The more she meddled with history, the more the present seemed to change around her. She started to notice subtle alterations in her own life, affecting her family, her friends, and the world she once knew. Frightened by the potential consequences, Amelia sought the advice of a wise historian who knew of the locket's legend. The historian explained that time was not to be toyed with and that her actions were causing temporal ripples throughout the ages. Determined to right her wrongs, Amelia returned to the present day, vowing never to use the locket again. She locked it away in a hidden drawer, a constant reminder of the responsibility that came with such power. Instead of traveling through time, Amelia channeled her passion into her artwork. She painted masterpieces that bridged the past and the present, capturing the essence of historical moments and preserving them on canvas. As the years passed, Amelia's art gained recognition and admiration. People marveled at her ability to bring the past to life with every brushstroke. But she never forgot the lessons learned during her time travels, cherishing the present and respecting the delicate fabric of time. One day, as an old woman with silver hair, Amelia gifted the locket to a young and curious artist, artist she had taken under her wing. She shared her stories and the importance of understanding the consequences of altering the course of history. And so, the locket passed on, a timeless artifact carrying the wisdom of its previous owners. But from that day forth, it remained unused, serving as a symbol of the importance of cherishing the present while honoring the past, and knowing that the true magic of time lies not in altering history but in learning from it. The Whispering Woods In a quaint village nestled between rolling hills, there was a forest like no other. The villagers called it the Whispering Woods, for it was said that the trees whispered ancient secrets to those who listened with an open heart. Among the villagers was a young girl named Alara, who had always been drawn to the mysteries of the forest. She had a natural affinity for plants and animals, 
and she spent her days exploring the outskirts of the Whispering Woods, feeling a deep connection to nature. One summer afternoon, as the sun painted the sky with hues of gold and orange, Alara ventured deeper into the heart of the forest than she had ever been before. With each step, the forest seemed to come alive around her, as if welcoming her presence. In a secluded glade, Alara stumbled upon a shimmering pond that reflected the stars even in daylight. At the center of the pond stood a majestic willow tree, its branches gracefully sweeping the water's surface. Intrigued by the tree's beauty, Alara approached it and laid her hand on its smooth, silvery bark. To her astonishment, she heard a faint, melodic hum, a soft, enchanting song emanating from the tree itself. The willow tree was singing, sharing its wisdom and stories of centuries past. As days turned into weeks, Alara visited the willow tree daily, becoming its devoted confidant. The tree taught her about the balance of life, the importance of patience, and the resilience of nature. It shared tales of legendary creatures that once roamed the whispering woods and of ancient guardians who protected its sacred heart. Word of Alara's unusual bond with the willow tree spread through the village, and soon, villagers came to seek her advice and healing touch. She listened to their worries and shared the wisdom of the whispering woods, bringing comfort and solace to their hearts. One evening, under a silver crescent moon, the willow tree revealed a hidden path that led even deeper into the forest. Ilara followed the path, guided by the faint glow of luminescent fireflies, until she arrived at a mystical glade untouched by time. At the center of the glade stood a great oak tree, ancient and wise, its roots reaching deep into the earth. Around the oak, a circle of stones marked a sacred space, charged with the energy of the forest's guardians. Elara sensed a powerful presence in the glade, and as she closed her eyes, she heard a harmonious chorus, a symphony of nature's voices. The oak tree spoke of the interconnectedness of all living beings and the delicate dance of life and death that sustains the forest's eternal cycle. With newfound reverence for the forest and its secrets, Elara returned to the village and shared her experiences with the villagers. She became a keeper of the Whispering Woods lore passing down the ancient stories and teachings to future generations. As the years passed, Alara's hair turned silver, and her eyes shone with the wisdom she had gleaned from the whispering woods. The villagers continued to seek her guidance, and the forest flourished under her watchful care. And so, the bond between Alara and the whispering woods endured, a testament to the enduring power of nature's wisdom and the magic that lies within the heart of every living being. The Whispering Woods remained a place of solace and wonder, where the trees whispered their stories to those who listened, listened with an open heart and a curious spirit. The Skyward Odyssey In a world where floating islands drifted amidst the clouds, a young adventurer named Orion dreamed of reaching the highest of heights, the fabled Skyward Citadel. The Citadel was said to be an ancient fortress perched at the pinnacle of the skies, where the secrets of the cosmos were said to be written in the stars. Orion had always been captivated by the heavens, spending countless nights stargazing and mapping constellations. With a heart full of determination and a trusty airship passed down from his ancestors, he set out on a daring quest to ascend to the elusive skyward citadel. His journey took him through skies of ever-changing colors, where majestic winged creatures soared and glittering nebulae twinkled like celestial jewels. Along the way, he encountered fellow travelers, each with their own dreams and ambitions, forming bonds that transcended the boundaries of the ground and the sky. In the celestial bazaar, a floating market suspended between two islands, Orion met the enigmatic storyteller, Selene, who spoke of ancient myths and prophecies tied to the citadel. Selene gifted him a mysterious star map, whispered to be the key to unlocking the secrets of the celestial realm. As he ventured higher, Orion faced challenges that tested his courage and resolve. Stormy tempests and turbulent winds threatened to push him off course, but he pressed on, fueled by his unwavering determination to reach the skyward citadel. During his ascent, Orion encountered a peculiar island inhabited by sentient clouds. The cloud folk were wise beings who revealed the wisdom of the skies and taught him how to navigate the celestial currents. As he drew nearer to the citadel, 
or Ion discovered a hidden realm known as the Starfall Glade. There, he encountered the ethereal star dancers, who wove cosmic tales through, through graceful dances. Enraptured by their performance, Orion learned that the dance of the stars held the key to unlocking the secrets of the citadel. Finally, after a perilous journey, Orion arrived at the base of the skyward citadel. A colossal staircase, formed from the stardust itself, spiraled towards the summit. Guided by the star map and inspired by the stories and lessons he had gathered, Orion ascended the staircase, step by step. At the pinnacle, he stood before the ancient gates of the citadel, adorned with constellations etched in pure light. As he traced the patterns with his fingers, the gates rumbled open, revealing the celestial wonders within. Inside the citadel, Orion discovered a celestial library, housing vast knowledge from across the universe. He learned about the interconnectedness of all things, the ebb and flow of cosmic energies, and the boundless possibilities that lay beyond the horizon. Having gleaned the wisdom of the citadel, Orion returned to his world with a heart full of wonder and newfound understanding. He shared his experiences with the villagers, inspiring them to dream big and embrace the wonders of the universe. From that day on, Orion became known as the Skyward Voyager, a legend that would be told for generations. He continued to explore the skies, charting unexplored territories and embarking on new adventures. The Skyward Citadel remained a beacon of inspiration, a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who dared to dream and soar beyond the limits of the ordinary. The Enchanted Music Box In a small, forgotten attic of an old mansion, a dusty wooden box lay hidden amidst a sea of forgotten treasures. It was an unassuming music box, its once vibrant colors now faded with time. The box had remained untouched for generations, waiting for the right person to unlock its enchanting secrets. One day, a curious young girl named Lily stumbled upon the attic while exploring the old mansion. mansion. Drawn to the music box, she carefully dusted it off and opened its lid. To her amazement, a soft, haunting melody filled the air, wrapping her in a cocoon of magic. From that moment, Lily could not resist the allure of the music box. Every day, she returned to the attic, winding its delicate mechanism and listening to the mesmerizing melodies that emanated from within. Each tune seemed to tell a different story, taking her on whimsical journeys through distant lands and enchanting realms. Little did Lily know that the music box held more than just beautiful melodies. As she explored the melodies, she began to notice subtle changes in her surroundings. The world seemed to shimmer with a magical glow, and animals and plants responded to her presence with a newfound warmth. One day, as Lily gazed into the music box, she caught a glimpse of a mysterious figure dancing inside. The figure was ethereal, almost transparent, and its movements mirrored the melody. It beckoned to Lily with a ghostly hand, inviting her to join the dance. Unable to resist the enchantment, Lily reached inside the music box, and to her astonishment, she was pulled into its wondrous world. She found herself in a realm of swirling colors and floating islands, where magical creatures frolicked and the sky was alive with shimmering stars. In this ethereal realm, Lily met the spirit of melodies, the very essence of the music box's magic. The spirit explained that the music box held the memories of all who had wound its delicate key throughout the ages. It was a portal to a realm where dreams and memories intertwined, and where the power of music shaped reality itself. Lily spent days dancing with the spirit, learning to harness the magic of the melodies. She discovered that each melody had a unique power, capable of healing hearts, mending broken bonds, and igniting joy in the darkest of places. As her time in the realm drew to a close, the spirit bestowed upon, upon Lily a precious gift, a small silver pendant shaped like a musical note. It was a token of her friendship and a reminder of the enchanting adventures they had shared. With a heavy heart, Lily bid farewell to the spirit and returned to her world. She kept the music box and the silver pendant close to her heart, cherishing the memories of her time in the magical realm. From that day on, Lily's life was forever touched by the music box's magic. She shared its melodies with the world, 
bringing joy and wonder to those who listened. The music box became a cherished heirloom, passed down through generations, spreading its enchantment to all who encountered it. And so, the music box's melodies continued to weave their spell, leaving traces of magic and joy wherever they traveled. The music box and its melodies became a timeless symbol of the power of music, the beauty of dreams, and the enchantment that lies within the heart of those who dare to believe in the extraordinary. The Magical Paintbrush In a quiet village, there lived a young girl named Mia. She loved to draw and paint, but she only had an old and worn-out paintbrush. One day, while exploring the nearby woods, she stumbled upon a shimmering lake. Beside the lake lay a mysterious box. Curious, Mia opened it and found a paintbrush unlike any she had ever seen before. It glowed with a soft light and seemed to hum with magic. Excited, Mia decided to test the paintbrush. As soon as she dipped it into the water, the brush came alive, painting beautiful scenes on the canvas with each stroke. The images she had in her mind appeared before her, as if by magic. With her new magical paintbrush, Mia painted scenes of joy and happiness for the village. Flowers bloomed, animals danced, and smiles filled the faces of everyone who saw her paintings. The whole village admired Mia's art and felt a sense of wonder. But one, one day, a traveler passing through the village saw Mia's magical paintbrush and became jealous. He thought of a wicked plan to steal it for himself. When Mia was away, the traveler sneaked into her home and took the paintbrush. He tried to use it, but it wouldn't paint a single stroke for him. Unaware of the magic secret, he grew angrier and threw the paintbrush into the shimmering lake. Mia returned home to find her paintbrush missing. She searched everywhere until she reached the lake. With tears in her eyes, she spotted the magical paintbrush floating on the water. As she reached out to retrieve it, the water glowed, and the paintbrush transformed into a magnificent fairy. The fairy explained that the brush had chosen Mia because of her kind heart and pure intentions. The fairy granted Mia one wish for her honesty and bravery. Mia wished for the traveler to learn the value of kindness and the joy of sharing. The fairy smiled and granted her wish. From that day on, the traveler's heart softened, and he became a better person. He apologized to Mia for his actions and learned to appreciate the beauty of her art. Mia's magical paintbrush continued to bring joy and wonder to the village. She used it to create breathtaking artworks that inspired everyone who saw them. And the village lived happily, knowing that the power of kindness and the magic of art could create a world filled with beauty and harmony. The Lost City of Lamaria In a time long ago, there existed a mythical city called Lamaria. The city was said to be a breathtaking marvel, filled with towering crystal spires, vibrant gardens, and fountains that danced with rainbow hues. Lamaria was a beacon of enlightenment, where people lived in harmony with nature and wisdom was revered. As centuries passed, Lamaria vanished from history, becoming a, becoming a mere legend whispered among storytellers. Many adventurers sought the lost city, but none returned, and its location remained a mystery. In a small coastal town, a spirited young woman named Alara listened to the tales of Lamaria with wide-eyed wonder. She had always dreamed of embarking on daring adventures, and the legend of the lost city captivated her imagination. One day, while exploring a dusty attic, Alara discovered an ancient map that hinted at the location of Lamaria. Determined to uncover its secrets, she set off on her quest. Armed with courage and a curious heart, Alara left her hometown behind and ventured into the unknown. Her journey took her through dense forests, treacherous mountains, and vast deserts. Along the way, Alara encountered kind strangers who shared their wisdom and strength, helping her overcome challenges she could not face alone. She learned that true adventure was not just about seeking treasure but about the connections forged along the way. As Alara traversed through diverse landscapes, she began to notice peculiar occurrences, a guiding glow from the stars, strange symbols etched on rocks, and whispers carried by the wind. These signs urged her onward, confirming she was on the right path. One fateful night, 
Under a sky adorned with shimmering constellations, Alara found herself at the edge of an enchanted forest. The trees seemed to bow in reverence, welcoming her with a soft, ethereal glow. She knew that Lamaria was near. Pushing through the forest's heart, Alara stumbled upon a breathtaking sight, a crystalline archway adorned with intricate carvings. Beyond the archway lay the magnificent lost city of Lamaria, just as described in the legends. As Alara stepped into the city, a warm, radiant energy envelop enveloped her. Lumerian spirits, guardians of the city's knowledge, appeared before her, and they acknowledged her as the chosen seeker, destined to rediscover Lamaria. Over the following days, Alara explored Lumeria's wonders, conversing with its ancient spirits, and absorbing the wisdom engraved in its walls. She learned about the interconnectedness of all living beings, the importance of compassion, and the harmony between nature and civilization. Yet, Alara also discovered that Lumeria's magic was waning. Its light had dimmed over the ages, and without restoration, it would fade into oblivion. The city's spirits pleaded with Alara to carry their wisdom back to the world and inspire others to preserve the balance of nature and humanity. Reluctantly, Alara bid farewell to Lamaria, but she carried the city's essence in her heart. As she returned to her coastal town, she vowed to share Lumeria's teachings with her community and beyond. With newfound purpose, Alara became a storyteller, sharing the tale of Lamaria far and wide. People were inspired by the lost city's wisdom, and their hearts were touched by the need to protect the environment and nurture compassion. Over time, Lumeria's magic began to spread, and people all around the world embraced its values. A global movement was born, dedicated to preserving nature's beauty and fostering a world where wisdom and compassion thrived. And so, the legend of Lumaria lived on, not just as a mythical city, but as a symbol of hope and enlightenment for generations to come. Elara's comprehensive journey had not only unearthed the lost city but had ignited a spark of change in the hearts of all who heard its tale. The Celestial Dreamer In a humble village nestled at the foot of a majestic mountain range, there lived a young girl named Nova. She possessed a rare gift, the ability to see the stars in, in her dreams. Each night, as she closed her eyes, the night sky became her canvas, and constellations painted across her mind like shimmering stardust. Nova's dreams were not ordinary, they were vivid and filled with wonder. She would dance among the stars, explore distant planets, and converse with celestial beings. Her dreams were a source of inspiration for the entire village, as she would share her celestial adventures with anyone who would listen. As Nova grew older, her dreams became even more enthralling. She dreamed of a fabled comet that streaked across the skies, bringing light and joy wherever it went. The comet was said to grant wishes to those who could find its hidden path. Filled with a sense of purpose, Nova embarked on a quest to find the comet. Armed with only her dreams and determination, she journeyed through uncharted lands, climbing mountains, and crossing vast oceans. Along the way, she encountered fellow travelers who shared their own dreams and aspirations. During her travels, Nova discovered a wise elder named Orion, who had been searching for the comet for years. Orion recognized the celestial spark in Nova's eyes and offered to guide her. He believed that her dreams held the key to finding the comet's elusive path. Together, they studied the patterns in Nova's dreams, seeking clues hidden within the constellations. Nova's dreams became a treasure map, guiding them through the cosmos. With each night's dream, they drew closer to the comet's location. As their journey progressed, Nova encountered challenges that tested her resolve. Doubts and fears clouded her mind, but she refused to give up. With Orion's guidance and the unwavering belief in her dreams, she pressed on, fueled by the desire to share the comet's light with the world. One night, under a breathtaking meteor shower, Nova had a revelation. The dreams she had been gifted were not ju just a means to find the comet but a message from the stars themselves. They spoke of hope, unity, and the power of dreams to shape destiny. Empowered by this realization, Nova and Orion reached the peak of the highest mountain, where the comet was said to appear. 
As the night sky filled with twinkling stars, the comet emerged, a brilliant streak of light. With a heart full of gratitude and humility, Nova made her wish, not for personal gain, but for a world where dreams could guide people towards harmony and understanding. Her wish echoed through the cosmos, and the comet showered the world with sparkling stardust. In that moment, Nova understood that the magic of the comet was not in granting wishes but in igniting the spark of hope and inspiration in every dreamer's heart. The comet's light became a beacon, reminding people to believe in their dreams and the limitless possibilities that lay within. Upon her return to the village, Nova shared the wisdom of her celestial journey with her community. The village embraced the message of unity and hope, and the spirit of dreaming ignited within each person. From that day on, Nova became known as the Celestial Dreamer, a guiding light for all dreamers and believers. She continued to dream with her heart wide open, weaving dreams that inspired the world. And so, the legend of the Celestial Dreamer lived on, reminding people of the power of dreams, the beauty of the night sky, and the wonders that lay beyond the horizon. In the hearts of dreamers everywhere, the spark of celestial magic thrived, forever connected to the celestial dreams of the young girl named Nova. The Timeless Library In a quaint town, hidden among rolling hills, there stood an ancient and mysterious library known as the Timeless Library. The library's existence was shrouded in legend, said to have been standing for centuries, holding the knowledge of ages past and the dreams of generations yet to come. In this town lived a young book lover named Oliver. He spent his days lost in the worlds of adventure, mystery, and knowledge within the library's walls. However, one day, as he explored a forgotten corner, he stumbled upon a weathered book with no title or author. Curiosity piqued, Oliver opened the book, and as he turned its pages, he felt an inexplicable pull. The book's words seemed to come alive, transporting him to distant eras and faraway lands. He traveled through time with every word he read, witnessing historical events and meeting legendary figures. Guided by this mysterious book, Oliver discovered a hidden door at the back of the library. It led to a vast chamber filled with magical artifacts, enchanted scrolls, and a grand golden hourglass that glowed with a radiant light. A gentle, ethereal voice echoed through the chamber, welcoming Oliver to the timeless library, a place where time held no boundaries and the past, present, and future intertwined like delicate threads. Oliver met the guardian of the library, a wise and ageless being named Aurelia. Aurelia explained that the library was a vessel of wisdom and dreams, containing the collective knowledge and aspirations of all who had set foot within its hallowed halls. Each book within the timeless library held a story, and every story was a doorway to a different era or realm. Oliver's curiosity and pure heart had allowed him to access the library's most extraordinary and ancient secrets. With Aurelia as his guide, Oliver embarked on wondrous journeys through time and imagination. He witnessed the construction of ancient wonders, sailed alongside pirates on high seas, and soared with mythical creatures in fantastical realms. As he delved deeper into the library's treasures, Oliver understood the power of story stories, their ability to teach, inspire, and connect people across time and space. The knowledge he gained enriched his life, making him wise beyond his years. In time, Oliver became a storyteller, sharing the tales from the timeless library with his town and the world beyond. His storytelling captured hearts, filling the minds of listeners with wonder and joy. The library's magic touched everyone who visited, as they found themselves inspired to follow their dreams and cherish the stories that bound humanity together. The timeless library became a sanctuary for all, where people could escape the confines of their lives and embrace the boundless world of knowledge and imagination. As years passed, Oliver grew old, but his spirit remained forever young, like the stories that flowed through the library's pages. He passed the torch of storytelling to the next generation, ensuring that the magic of the Timeless Library would live on for eternity. And so, the legend of the Timeless Library endured, a haven of dreams, wisdom, and imagination, a place where people would always find the stories that whispered through time, 
weaving a tapestry of human experiences that transcended the boundaries of the ordinary. The Lighthouse of Dreams On a rocky coastal town, where waves crashed against the cliffs and seagulls soared in the salty breeze, there stood an ancient lighthouse known as the Lighthouse of Dreams. Legend had it that this lighthouse held the power to bring people's dreams to life. In this town lived a young girl named Lily. She was an imaginative soul, with dreams that sparkled like stars in the night sky. Lily loved to watch the lighthouse's beacon shine across the ocean, wondering if it could truly make dreams come true. One stormy night, as the waves roared and lightning streaked across the sky, Lily climbed up the winding stairs of the lighthouse. She reached the top, where a mysterious keyhole, keyhole awaited her. With a sense of wonder and trepidation, she placed her hand on the keyhole and felt a jolt of energy surge through her veins. To her astonishment, the lighthouse's beacon began to pulse with an ethereal light. The light spilled over the sea, and a magical path appeared, leading to a distant island shimmering on the horizon. Filled with curiosity and excitement, Lily followed the path and reached the mystical island. There, she discovered a secret garden blooming with the most enchanting flowers she had ever seen. Each flower seemed to whisper secrets of dreams yet to be fulfilled. In the heart of the garden stood a wise old woman named Alara. She was the guardian of the lighthouse of dreams, entrusted with the sacred task of helping dreamers bring their aspirations to life. Alara welcomed Lily warmly and explained that the lighthouse's magic worked through the dreams of those who sought its power. She handed Lily a magical quill and an enchanted journal. With this gift, Lily could write down her deepest dreams and desires, and the lighthouse would work to make them a reality. Over the next few weeks, Lily filled her journal with dreams of adventure, friendship, and making the world a better place. With each entry, the lighthouse of dreams glowed with more brilliance, its light radiating hope across the town and beyond. As Lily's dreams began to manifest, she realized that the key to making dreams come true lay not only in the magic of the lighthouse but in her own belief and determination. She had to take action and work towards her aspirations with passion and perseverance. With newfound courage, Lily shared her dreams with the townspeople, inspiring them to write their dreams in the journal too. too. The once dreary town transformed into a vibrant community, where dreams flourished and people supported each other in their endeavors. As time passed, the Lighthouse of Dreams became a symbol of hope and unity, guiding dreamers from all walks of life towards their destinies. Its light illuminated not just the coastal town but reached far beyond, touching the hearts of dreamers around the world. And so, the legend of the Lighthouse of Dreams lived on, a beacon of inspiration and encouragement for all who dared to dream. Lily's legacy continued reminding people that the power to make dreams come true was within their grasp, and that with a little bit of magic, belief, and determination, the world could be transformed into a realm of dreams fulfilled. The Songbird's Symphony In a tranquil forest, where ancient trees whispered their wisdom, there lived a young girl named Melody. She had a special gift, the ability to understand and communicate with the forest's creatures. Birds sang their sweet melodies in response to her voice, and animals gathered around her, enchanted by her presence. Among the many creatures in the forest, there was a rare and elusive songbird named Aurora. Aurora's voice was said to hold magical properties, capable of bringing joy and harmony to all who heard it. But the songbird had not sung in many years, and her once vibrant feathers had lost their luster. Filled with compassion, Melody set out on a quest to find Aurora and help her find her song again. Guided by the forest's wisdom, she followed the faint echo of the songbird's melodies, leading her deeper into the heart of the forest. As Melody journeyed through the enchanting woods, she encountered challenges that tested her patience and resolve. resolve. The forest seemed to be testing her determination to help Aurora. But Melody pressed on, knowing that her heart's purpose was to bring back the songbird's symphony. One night, guided by a gentle moonbeam, Melody found Aurora perched on a moss-covered branch. The songbird's eyes shimmered with sadness, and her feathers seemed to have lost their color. 
Melody approached her with a soothing voice, and in a soft, melodious tone, she spoke of the beauty of music and the joy it could bring to the world. Moved by Melody's words, Aurora felt a spark of hope within her heart. She tentatively opened her beak, and to everyone's amazement, a faint, wistful note escaped her lips. The forest stirred with anticipation, and animals gathered to witness the momentous event. Determined to encourage Aurora, Melody sang a heartfelt melody, weaving her voice with the songbird's hesitant notes. As they sang together, the forest seemed to hold its breath, embracing the magical moment. With each passing day, Melody and Aurora practiced their duet. The songbird's voice grew stronger, and her feathers regained their radiant hues. Melody's heart swelled with joy, knowing that her quest to restore Aurora's song was succeeding. One morning, as the sun painted the sky with golden hues, Aurora soared into the air, her voice soaring like a symphony of colors. The forest came alive with a chorus of joyous sounds, as all the creatures joined in the harmony of the songbird's symphony. News of Aurora's return spread throughout the forest and beyond. Animals from far and wide came to hear the magical melodies, and the once tranquil forest transformed into a place of enchantment and wonder. As Melody basked in the beauty of Aurora's song, she realized that the true magic was not just in the songbird's voice but in the power of compassion and the harmony that could be created when hearts united in a common purpose. From that day on, the forest was known as the Songbird Symphony, Symphony, and Melody became its guardian. She continued to communicate with the creatures, spreading kindness, and inspiring them to embrace the magic of music and unity. And so, the legend of Melody and Aurora's symphony lived on, a testament to the transformative power of compassion, the enchantment of music, and the harmonious bond that exists between all living beings in the heart of the magical forest. The Wandering Star In a kingdom nestled between majestic mountains and lush valleys, there lived a young girl named Celeste. She had always been fascinated by the night sky, and her heart soared among the stars like a wandering comet. One evening, as she lay beneath a blanket of twinkling stars, a shooting star streaked across the sky. Celeste watched in awe, making a secret wish with all her heart. To her surprise, the star seemed to change its course, descending towards her. The star transformed into a radiant being named Stella, a celestial guardian who had heard Celeste's wish. Stella explained that she was the embodiment of the wandering star, sent to grant wishes to those whose hearts yearned for adventure and self-discovery. Eager to explore the world beyond the kingdom, Celeste asked Stella to take her on a journey among the stars. With a gentle touch, Stella turned Celeste's necklace into a magical pendant, and they soared into the night sky, leaving trails of stardust in their wake. Together, they embarked on a cosmic odyssey, visiting far-off planets, dancing with nebulae, and traversing galaxies. Celeste's heart brimmed with wonder, and she learned about the interconnectedness of the universe, where every star had its purpose and place. As their journey continued, Stella revealed that each celestial object held a story, a story of dreams and aspirations. Celeste's pendant could capture these stories, preserving them as gleaming constellations in the night sky. With her newfound gift, Celeste, Celeste embraced her role as a celestial storyteller. She traveled back to her kingdom, sharing tales of distant worlds and the hopes and dreams of people across the cosmos. The people of the kingdom were entranced by Celeste's stories, and a newfound curiosity and unity blossomed among them. They gazed upon the night sky with wonder, knowing that their dreams were not confined to the kingdom but interconnected with the dreams of the entire universe. Celeste's journeys continued, and with each new story added to the night sky, the kingdom's connection with the cosmos deepened. Celeste learned that dreams were not just wishes but guiding stars, leading people to discover their true purpose and potential. One day, as Celeste and Stella danced among the stars, they encountered a troubled planet. Its inhabitants had forgotten how to dream, and their world was cloaked in darkness. Celeste felt a tug at her heart, knowing she had to help them rediscover the magic of dreams. With Stella's guidance, Celeste shared her stories with the people of the planet. As they listened, their hearts ignited with hope, and they learned to dream once more. 
Their world bloomed with colors and life, as dreams sparked creativity, innovation, and compassion. Over time, the kingdom and the once troubled planet formed a cosmic bond, united by the magic of dreams. People from all corners of the universe were drawn to their inspiring story, and the kingdom became a beacon of light and dreams for all. And so, the legend of Celeste, the wandering star, lived on, a tale of adventure, dreams, and the limitless possibilities that lay among the stars. Her pendant continued to capture the stories of the cosmos, reminding people to look to the night sky, where dreams shimmer like stardust, waiting to be discovered by those with hearts that wander among the stars. The Enchanted Forest's Guardian Deep within a mystical forest, where ancient trees whispered in the wind and magical creatures ro roamed, there lived a young girl named Aurora. She had an extraordinary gift, she could hear the thoughts and feelings of the forest's inhabitants. As the guardian of the enchanted forest, Aurora's connection with nature was stronger than anyone could fathom. Her presence brought harmony to the creatures and plants, and she devoted her life to protecting the forest from harm. One day, a powerful sorceress named Serafina, envious of the forest's magic, sought to claim it for herself. She believed that harnessing the forest's power would make her the most powerful sorceress in the land. Serafina cast a dark spell upon the forest, causing the plants to wither and the creatures to flee in fear. The once vibrant forest fell into a state of despair, and its magic waned with every passing moment. Aurora felt the forest's pain and her heart ached for her beloved home. With tears in her eyes, she set out on a quest to find a way to break the curse and restore the enchanted forest to its former glory. Guided by the wisdom of an ancient owl named Orion, Aurora ventured into the heart of the forest. Orion was a wise sage, the guardian of the forest's ancient knowledge, and he knew the secrets of breaking curses. As they journeyed together, Aurora and Orion encountered trials that tested their courage and determination. They faced treacherous paths, riddles from mystical beings, and powerful spells meant to deter them. But Aurora's unwavering love for the forest and her connection with its inhabitants gave her strength to overcome each challenge. With Orion's guidance, Aurora collected precious ingredients from the deepest corners of the forest. She mixed them in a cauldron under the light of a rare moon reciting ancient incantations passed down through generations. The cauldron glowed with a brilliant light, and the enchanting aroma filled the air. The air. Aurora poured the potion over the forest, and with each drop, life returned to the withered plants and the creatures that had fled found their way back home. As the last drop touched the ground, a dazzling display of light erupted from the heart of the forest. The curse had been broken, and the enchanted forest flourished once more, teeming with life and magic. With Serafina's dark spell dispelled, the sorceress retreated in defeat. The forest was safe again, thanks to Aurora's selfless bravery and her deep bond with nature. From that day on, Aurora's reputation as the enchanted forest's guardian spread far and wide. People from distant lands traveled to witness the forest's wonder and listen to the tales of its protector. Aurora continued to dedicate her life to the enchanted forest, cherishing its beauty and protecting its magic. Her connection with the creatures and plants only grew stronger, and the forest thrived under her watchful care. And so, the legend of Aurora, the enchanted forest's guardian, lived on, a testament to the profound bond between humans and nature the resilience of hope, and the power of love and courage to conquer even the darkest of spells. The enchanted forest's magic endured, an eternal sanctuary for all who sought solace and wonder among its ancient trees and mystical inhabitants. The Whispering Winds In a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and meandering streams, there lived a young girl named Isabella. She had a special connection with the winds, the gentle zephyrs whispered secrets in her ears, and the gusts carried her dreams to distant lands. One day, a mysterious traveler arrived in the village, bearing a unique gift, a delicate, silver flute that glimmered like moonlight. The traveler explained that the flute was no ordinary instrument, it had the power to call upon the winds and harness their magic. Intrigued by the flute's enchanting aura, Isabella accepted the gift with grat gratitude. 
As she played the flute, its haunting melody harmonized with the winds, and the air around her came alive with a symphony of whispers. Guided by the wind's whispers, Isabella set off on a journey across the land. The winds led her to various places, where she encountered people with heavy hearts and unspoken dreams. With her flute, Isabella played melodies that lifted their spirits and ignited a spark of hope within each soul. As she traveled, Isabella noticed a mysterious shadow lurking in the corners of the lands she visited. It was a dark and cold force, sapping the joy and vitality from the people and the earth. The winds themselves seemed to be in distress. Determined to uncover the source of this malevolent presence, Isabella followed the wind's guidance deeper into the heart of the land. She climbed treacherous mountains, crossed desolate deserts, and braved raging storms. In the heart of a forgotten forest, Isabella confronted the dark force, an ancient, shadowy being named Erebos. Erebos had grown envious of the wind's beauty and sought to control them for his own wicked purposes. With the flute in hand, Isabella stood her ground, playing a soul-stirring melody that echoed with the whispers of the winds. The magic of her music surrounded Erebos, weakening his grip on the winds. In a moment of empathy, Isabella realized that Erebos's darkness stemmed from a longing to be seen and understood. With a compassionate heart, she offered to share the beauty of the winds with him, inviting him to feel the joy and wonder they brought to the world. Touched by Isabella's kindness, Erebos hesitated, but ultimately accepted her offer. As he felt the wind's embrace, his shadowy form softened, and he began to change. The darkness within him transformed into a shimmering, silvery essence that merged with the winds themselves. With Erebos's transformation, the land flourished, and the winds carried the message of hope and unity far and wide. Isabella's journey had not only restored the balance between the winds and the land but had also shown that even the darkest of beings could find redemption through compassion and understanding. Word of Isabella's remarkable journey spread, and she became known as the Whispering Winds Guardian, a symbol of harmony, compassion, and the profound connection between humans and nature. From that day on, Isabella continued to play her flute, weaving melodies that spread joy, healing, and inspiration. The winds danced to her music, whispering tales of her bravery and kindness to all who listened. And so, the legend of Isabella, the Whispering Winds Guardian, lived on, a timeless reminder of the magic that lies within the winds and the transformative power of empathy and compassion to heal even the darkest of hearts. The winds would forever carry her melodies across the land, bringing joy and wonder to all who heard their ethereal whispers. The Painter of Dreams in a quaint village surrounded by lush forests and blooming meadows, there lived a young artist named Arya. Her paintings were like windows to fantastical worlds, where dreams came to life in vibrant hues and mesmerizing strokes. One evening, while strolling through the woods, Arya stumbled upon a mysterious easel adorned with sparkling paintbrushes. Intrigued, she touched one of the brushes, and to her astonishment, the surrounding scenery transformed into a breathtaking dreamscape. A gentle voice spoke from the depths of the woods, revealing itself, itself as an ancient tree spirit named Sylvan. Sylvan explained that the easel and paintbrushes were enchanted, gifted to her by the spirits of the forest themselves. The spirits recognized Arya's pure heart and her ability to capture the essence of dreams in her art. They chose her to be the painter of dreams, a guardian of imagination and a bridge between reality and the realm of dreams. Embracing her newfound role, Arya began to paint with the enchanted brushes. Each stroke brought her visions to life, and she painted scenes of wonder, magic, and hope. The entire village marveled at her creations, and her art exhibitions became a source of inspiration for all who attended. One night, Arya had a vivid dream of an ancient castle shrouded in mist. Guided by the dream's allure, she set out on a quest to find the castle in the waking world. With the enchanted paintbrushes in hand, she ventured into the heart of the forest. As she followed the dream's guidance, Arya encountered various challenges and puzzles. The forest seemed to be testing her resolve and creativity, prompting her to rely on her instincts as an artist and her deep connection with the spirits of nature. 
With each challenge she overcame, Aria's bond with the enchanted paintbrushes grew stronger. The brushes became an extension of her imagination, allowing her to paint not just with colors but with emotions and dreams themselves. Finally, after days of searching, Arya stumbled upon the ancient castle from her dream. It was an ethereal realm where dreams intermingled with reality, and the lines between the two became blurred. Within the castle's heart, she encountered a powerful being named Morpheus, the Dreamweaver. Morpheus had been watching over the realm of dreams, ensuring that they flowed through the hearts of dreamers across the world. Morpheus recognized Arya as the chosen painter of dreams, and he entrusted her with a vital task, to nurture the dreams of people far and wide, for dreams were the essence of hope and the architects of the future. Arya embraced her role with determination, returning to her village with a newfound purpose. She used the enchanted paintbrushes to paint murals that adorned the walls of the village, inspiring everyone who passed by. People from neighboring towns heard of the painter of dreams, and they traveled far and wide to witness her art. Arya's creations brought joy, comfort, and solace to all who beheld them, and the realm of dreams seemed to weave its magic into the lives of those touched by her art. And so, the legend of Arya, the painter of dreams, lived on, a testament to the power of art and imagination to transcend boundaries and touch the deepest corners of the soul. The enchanted paintbrushes remained a symbol of the connection between dreams and reality, reminding people that with every stroke of imagination, they could paint their dreams into existence and shape a world filled with endless possibilities.